Okay guys, I'm back to talk to you about assets and bases. At this point, there are two asset and base definitions you can use to identify your compounds. The Brosted Lowry definition tells us that assets are protein donors while bases are protein acceptors. The other definition is the Arrhenius definition, which says that an acid is a substance that will form hydrogen ions when dissolved in water, while a base forms hydroxide ions. So you're probably asking, how does this help? Let's take a look at the following equation. Sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide combine to form sodium sulfate and water. As the name suggests, sulfuric acid is the acid in this reaction, but how would you identify it if you did not know the name? Look at what happens to each of the reactants independently according to our definitions. The hydrogen ions from H2SO4 detach from the sulfate ions and are then donated to other reactants, which is how the bronsted lowry definition describes acids. Also, if you place sulfuric acid in water, it can only dissociate into sulfate ions and hydrogen iron. This is how the Arrhenius definition describes an acid. In the case of NaOH, the protons that were donated by the previous acid are accepted and combined with the hydroxide ion. You may notice this is how the bronsted lowry definition describes a base. If you dissociate the sodium hydroxide in water, it can only form sodium and hydroxide ions, which is the Arrhenius definition for a base. So, as you look at the equation once more, you can identify H2SO4 as the acid and NaOH as the base in this reaction. Remember that you always identify the reactants as acid and bases, not the products. You will learn more about how products, acids, and bases are labeled in the future.